Hello, my name is Kevin Reynolds, and upon reading Coach Wooden's book on leadership and learning about his pyramid of success, I found myself applying each building block to my own personal life experiences. And I'm sure this was the intention of Coach Wooden when writing this book for all of his readers. As I read about each building block in depth, I found myself relating each topic to my experience with the UCF club soccer team. The many lessons and words of wisdom shared throughout the book provided me with significant value and allowed for me to more clearly observe and evaluate my everyday interactions. So for my deliverable, I felt most inclined to share my newly acquired perspectives regarding both my initial introduction to the team, as well as my plans moving forward as I take on a position of leadership for the upcoming fall semester. So before I go into depth about how each building block relates to my experience, I should first probably provide a little bit of background on the situation. As I came into UCF as a freshman, my one and only goal was to make this club soccer team. I had decided that I wasn't going to continue playing soccer at the collegiate level, which was my goal for a really long time. So with that decision came the expectation that I would continue playing at a high level, competitive level with the club soccer team. I had heard a lot of really good things about the team, that they were really good, that they competed against other universities. And I just imagined the ideal scenario of me making this team, meeting lots of really cool friends, and it, it kickstarting a really good college experience. As it turned out, however, when I rolled up to tryouts my freshman year, I was not chosen for the team. This was really hard for me to accept and it led me down a really difficult path for that first year. That being said, I worked very hard that summer to ensure that there was absolutely no question that I was meant I was deserved to be on that team when it came time for tryouts the next year. That summer before my second tryout, I worked really hard and I made the team my sophomore year in 2019. I was really excited for the opportunity to play at a high level once again and to meet some new friends. And I knew that this opportunity would help me to reach new levels in not only my game, but also my development as a person. Coming in as a new player, I recognized I was going to have to prove myself. And this was something I wasn't used to. Up until that point, I had been a consistent starter on both my high school team as well as all of my travel teams throughout the years. Learning about Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success and its building blocks has made me reflect on my experience coming in as that new player and analyze the type of leadership that I received and that the rest of my teammates received during that first year. With this new team came a new leadership style that I was not used to. Rather than having a traditional coach like I had had in all of my years playing soccer previously, the club team had a player coach. Essentially what this meant was our coach, the one that was in charge, was also a player on the team and a starter on the team who had been a player on the team for a few years and he would happen to be a senior in his last semester during that time. And Rather than calling him a player coach, I'll, I'll refer to him as a president um, because that's the official term. That's the term we go by now. Anyways, this is why I found it particularly interesting to evaluate and apply Coach Wooden's pyramid blocks to my experience with the club team in that first year because it was a brand new leadership style. Traditionally, a coach has lots of experience and they've got knowledge that they're able to pass on to their players and hopefully make them better players. They've got valuable insight that you know maybe the players don't see. Whereas in my case, our coach, our leader, or our president didn't have that much more experience than us. He was a few years older and maybe he had played one or two years longer than me or the rest of like my teammates, but it was nothing like a traditional coach who may have played professionally or may have coached for several years and gained a multitude of knowledge through experience. So with that, I'll move along into the very first building block of Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success. And as I stated in the beginning of the video, I'll go through each individual block and determine whether or not it was present in the leadership style that I experienced in my first year with the club team. So starting off with industriousness. Coach Wooden included this as one of two cornerstones to the pyramid for a good reason. And put in the simplest of terms, industriousness means hard work. Looking back to my first few practices, I quickly realized that industriousness was not lacking in that team. The tempo was high every single practice. Everyone was going in hard on challenges. 
the speed of play was quick. The expectation was that you need to put in full effort now so that we can be the best team possible. And one of the reasons that this expectation was set in place was because our president came out from the beginning and said that us new guys were not just going to walk in and suddenly take playing time away from the starters who had earned it over the course of the past few years. And nor should we. We, we would have to prove ourselves just, just the same as anybody else should. But naturally, him emphasizing this led to us working harder in order to try and earn our playing time and earn our spot in the team. And this led to everybody working harder because no one wants to be outworked by the new guys. So to conclude, I would say that industriousness was definitely prevalent in my first year, and I believe that it contributed to a lot of the success that we enjoyed later on in that season. All right, moving on to the next block, we have friendship. Coach Wooden emphasizes that without friendship and without camaraderie, a team will never reach its full potential. And this makes complete sense because if you think about it, you're not going to be as willing to sacrifice your body or your effort or your comfort level for people that you don't like. However, if you build that sense of camaraderie that these are your family and this is your your brother, like you will be so much more willing to sacrifice whatever it takes to improve the entire team. So camaraderie and friendship is extremely important in the overall success of a team. Friendship was one of the things I was looking forward to most as I joined the team because I recognized that these were going to be individuals who had the same interests as me and the same values as me for the most part. And up until that point, I was undecided on you know my friend group I don't I won't get it too much into that but overall I knew that being a part of a team creates a special bond because you win together and you lose together and you go through all of the hard training sessions together to build that bond and it was no different with this club team I could already tell that there were already groups of friends within the club team that had been established over the years and I wanted to be a part of them. I couldn't wait to be a part of them. And I could tell that the overall mentality was acceptance and you are going to be working for your teammates and these are your lifelong friends, you know? So I think it was, it was established from the beginning that the club soccer team will become a family in a sense. So that was something I really enjoyed, something that has come to fruition and that I believe, just as Coach Wooden emphasized, is pivotal in our overall success as a team moving forward. All right, so next up we have loyalty. And essentially, Coach Wooden described that loyalty is one of the most important blocks in the pyramid because at the end of the day, if you are not loyal to your team and loyal to your teammates, they're never going to be able to fully trust that you will always put their interests and the team interests before your own. So if someone's worried that you're going to leave at the next best offer, what's to say that they can ever, why or not what's to say, but why would they have any reason to believe that you are giving your all for this team? You know, so um, a, a player or a coach that's not loyal to the team is not someone that's going to help the team really much at all. Like they're going to actually hurt it because down the line they're going to jump at the first opportunity to leave for more pay or for a better team regardless of whether or not it negatively impacts the team as a whole. There wasn't really any issues with loyalty on the club soccer team and I feel that it wasn't as prevalent of a, blo a building block as maybe some of the other ones just because you know everyone that was on the team tried out for the team and had every intention of playing for the team and um, you know everyone was consistently at practices and no one was going and trying to leave for UF's club soccer team any at any time so I don't think it was as prevalent of a building block as some of the others that I'll go into later on but you know the everyone was was loyal to each other and to the team and everyone had the same interests of trying to improve all as a unit every single day. 